Hey guys, I'm Katie Bertrand. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be talking about how to embroider towels um, and anything that kind of has a nap to it. And a nap is a not only a word to go to sleep, but it is a sewing term for fabric that is fuzzy. Um, so towels, you know, this terry cloth, maybe plush blankets, things that are just have a little bit thicker material, that fuzziness. Um, there are some things that you need to do when you're embroidering those as far as your stabilizers to make them embroider properly and look really good. So today I'm just going to be doing a hand towel. Um, and most towels have this little decorative band right here. I like to put my design just right above this band. So I'm going to be hooping it right above the band. The other thing I like to do, you do want to make sure some towels will have this uh, little decorative band right here at both ends. This towel does not. So this is going to be the, tab, the end that's going to be hanging over the, the ring. Sometimes it really doesn't matter, just depends. The other thing I like to pay attention to is where the tag is on the back side of my towel um, or a blanket because I want to make sure that I'm putting the embroidery um, the opposite end or area from any tag. So if, I, if this were a blanket and I was angling it in the corner, I wouldn't want to put it where the tag is. So I do it a different corner. Um, this towel, it does have to go here because of the band. Thankfully, there's not a tag at the bottom here. Sometimes there is and you just have to, to deal with it. But I just like to be away from the tag. So I just want to point that out to you. So supplies that you're going to need, you're going to need your stabilizer, which is going to go under your material. I'm going to be using a tearaway stabilizer. There's multiple different uh, kinds of stabilizers and weights and whatnot. This is just a medium weight tearaway. This is a pre-cut square that I order. Uh, you can get it on rolls, those kinds of things. There's also a stabilizer called cutaway. But for towels, it's a woven, you just need to use the tearaway. Tearaway just means when the design is done that this material will tear. So see, I can tear that. Um, so this is gonna go under the towel. And then because of the nap and the, or the fuzziness of the terry cloth, we need to put a stabilizer on top, which is a water soluble topping. And I'll show you what that is here in a minute. So how I mark the towel, I'm gonna show you, angle you down here on the table. Okay, so when you have a towel, you obviously want to put it in the center. So the best thing to do is to fold your towel in half. Okay, so this finds our center point. And I'm just going to put a pen right in this fold right here. This is the easiest and fastest way to do this. You can certainly uh, get a ruler and all that kind of stuff. Now the other thing... I like to do is I like to place my hoop right above this band and that's just where I typically place uh, monograms and things for towels. It is personal preference but this is where the towel folds in half so we don't want it to be up too high because then it's going to be you know up close to the fold. So it's your personal preference on your towel. This is just where I typically do this when I'm embroidering for my customers. So what I will do is we're gonna lay the bottom part of the hoop down. I lay my tearaway stabilizer on it, place the towel over it. And I just kind of feel it with my hands. And then I kind of just wanna, so my hoop has little markings, uh, top and bottom for your centers, little um, on there. And so I push this down one side. Let me pull this over to me. And that hoop is too tight, so I need to loosen it just a little bit. Must have been doing a shirt or something. Oh, wrong way. If you cannot push your hoop down in there, it's just too tight. So just uh, loosen that screw a little bit. Well, I still didn't get it. I must have tightened it. Hold on. I need to get it straightened up again. Okay, so I've got it 
push down into the hoop here. It's lined up right along this band on the towel, which is a straight line, which helps me just keep it straight. And then I'm just gonna push the back part in. Okay, now, as you can see, my pin is lining up with the little notches that are on my uh, embroidery hoop. So that's perfect. Also, it's pretty close to that. So now that I've got that hoop, you wanna make sure that this is nice and smooth, that you don't have any wrinkles, it's nice and tight. But the next step for embroidering anything that has a nap to it, that's fuzzy, is you need to put this topping on it. This is water soluble topping and I buy this, let's say this is 10, 10 inches wide by 110 yards. So I ordered this from sewingmachine.com and it was 46.25 for that entire roll. So if you do a lot of towels, it's better to buy a large quantity of this or, any, or if you're doing blankets and stuff like that. Now, when you roll this off, it's like a, just a clear see-through film. Just be careful because it is water soluble. If for any reason you've touched something and your hands might be damp, don't touch that. It will just melt. It'll just be sticky. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this. Okay. Now some people like to hoop this on top. I personally just like to lay it on top. Again, you know, everybody has their preferences. You want to take your pen out. Get that out of the way. And then I'm just going to lay the the stabilizer, the topping uh, in my hoop right there. Um, now, if you feel like that is not secure, you can certainly lay it on there and then hoop it so it's nice and tight. I don't find that that's necessary all the time. You can also, if you wanted to pin it, you could pin it to your towel outside the hoop. So that's another option if you wanted to make sure that it didn't get bunched up. I typically do not have an issue with this, so that's why I always just lay it in there. So, we got that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it over to the machine. As you can see on my screen, hopefully there's not too much of a glare. Uh, there we go. So here's my design. Now, when you are embroidering towels, what I like to do is I like to put them on the machine where you have the excess of your towel hanging out instead of trying to shove all this and have all this bulk behind here. So you just have a little bit of the towel right here behind there, but your blanket or towel or whatever, the bulk of it is hanging out. And if it's a um, blanket, then you can lay the bulk you know, up on your stand. That way it's not pulling on there. So I just wanna show that to you. So technically my towel is upside down. Therefore, we need to go up here to our design and I need to rotate my design here um, so that it's upside down. So first I'm going to hit set. Then um, I'm using the Baby Lock Enterprise 10 needle machine. So then I'm going to go to rotate and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees twice. So now you can see that my design, it's a K, the letter with some little designs around it is upside down. I will hit the end edit button. Um, I wanna go to my sewing screen. Now I need to set my colors. I was gonna do black and khaki. I have changed my mind. So now I want to switch the cones here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, so I want my khaki is on the right number. I want black. Where does it tell me black is on? Well, lo and behold, it's actually on the right, right thing. So I don't even have to switch it. Must have been what I wanted to do anyway. So I'm gonna do a navy and a light blue and I'm going to hit lock and then we will start our machine. So it will start embroidering.
Okay, so that is finished. Okay, so here is our design. It's all finished. So with your water soluble topping, usually it will just rip right off most of it. Depends on how detailed your design is. Um, if it's got a lot of small spaces in there. Um, what I like to do, and I know this is probably hard to see on the screen, but there's a little bit of this um, in this circle. And if I just take my fingernail and gently, very gently, just like kind of just scrape it, it will come up and then it will just tear off. Now, it is water soluble, obviously, but it's easier for me to just gently pull as much of that off as possible especially if you're doing it for a customer, because then what you need to do is you can take it over to your iron, and if you use the steam on your iron and uh, steam it real good, it will, it will ball up, and then you can just pick it off. And then the next thing you wanna do if you need to get more of it off is take a damp uh, wash rag, and then take that wash rag, um, and then just dab it on there, and it will start to melt and just, you know, it will come off. So the other thing we need to do is now we have our tear away stabilizer and it tears away. So I'll just pull it. Now, I usually don't get into all the little things to tear that away. With washing, that will um, soften up and then it also is easier to peel off. Same with your uh, water soluble topping. So if this is your, your towel, you know, when you wash this, your water soluble topping is going to come off as well. But if it's the customers, I'm not gonna go wash their towels because we don't want to do any uh, damage to it. Not that it's gonna damage in the laundry, but uh, we just wanna get it to them um, back the way it came. So most of this, you can gently peel off and it will uh, perforate and tear off. Um, and then the other part, I would take the iron and steam, and then that kind of makes it ball up and then you can just pull it off and then the damp wash rag. So, but if you fold your towel, you can see that the placement is perfect. So I just folded my towel, and then this is the halfway point. So if it was hanging on the ring, uh, that's what it would look like. So if you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and uh, we will have more embroidery and sewing videos for you. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.